Windows 11 is one of the easiest operating systems you can use, but it's not perfect and errors can sometimes be confusing. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Android Technology and in this video we're talking about the device descriptor request failed error that you might get when you use USB devices. So let's get started. Well, the first thing that you have to do is uh, fire up device manager. Now we can do this by pressing windows key plus X and clicking on the device manager option right here. In the window that shows up, scroll all the way down to uh, USB controllers or USB devices, whatever of these three sections that you see and expand them. In at least one of them, you will see a device with an or a yellow exclamation mark on it. And that is the device that we need to fix. So the easiest method is to just uninstall the root hub, which controls all of the USB devices. So you would select this, right click, and then click on uninstall device. Windows will ask you for a confirmation. Uh, you click uninstall, this will remove the device. And then when you restart your PC, all of those devices will be reinstalled with default drivers that Windows has for them, which will fix any driver issues which you might be facing. Another alternative to this problem is to simply update the device driver. Now this works less often because you may not be able to get the latest drivers possible. But the way you can do this is that you can right click the problematic device or the root hub and then click on update driver. Then you can ask Windows to automatically search for drivers and if there are any updates available, Windows will go ahead and install it for you. Moving on, the next step is to disable USB selective suspend settings. Now, these settings allow your PC to turn off your USB ports to save power, but as you can probably guess, they can sometimes cause issues like the one that you're dealing with. Uh, to change this, simply open up your start menu and search for edit power plan. Click on this button and a new window will emerge. Now we are going to click on change advanced power settings. And in this window, you will see a USB option. There is no USB option on my laptop because USB is dealt with differently here and those settings are present in the BIOS, especially specifically USB power management settings. But you will see um, USB settings in one of these things. So if, for example, if I, let's say if I go to battery and uh, these are notifications, let's try PCI Express. Yeah, link state power management. So you'll see two settings right here. One is on battery and one is plugged in. Make sure that you disable USB uh, selective suspend settings in whatever setting state you see them in. So as long as they're disabled, go ahead, give your PC a restart and it should all be working fine. Next up is disabling fast startup. Now, fast startup doesn't really have any impact on how your PC boots up. Uh, it essentially is a flashier version of hibernating your system. But what it does is that it can sometimes not load drivers properly or sometimes leave ports in states that they're not functional in. So to disable fast startup, the first thing that you need to do is open up your start menu and search for the control panel. We'll fire it up and uh, in here you can see that there are not as many options. So I will just go ahead and click on category, click on large icon so that everything shows up. And now we're going to click on power options. All right, in here you have a bunch of different options, but uh, you can go ahead and do what the power click on choose what the power buttons do. So this option right here. And then you will see uh, that turn on fast startup is automatically enabled by default, but you can't change the setting to do this. Go ahead and click on this button right here. And now you can change the settings down below so you can Make sure that hibernation shows up in the power menu and you can disable fast startup. Once you're done, click this save settings button, restart your PC and try your USB ports again. Last but not least, it's also a good idea to check for Windows updates just in case Windows has already published a fix for the problem that you're facing and it happens quite often. 
so to do this we'll press windows key plus i to open windows settings um if you zoom in uh, let me zoom in and then uh, windows update is the last option right here so we'll go ahead and click that and then you'll be able to check for windows updates on this screen um, you can go ahead and click on check for updates button if windows reports that you're automatically up to date which should be the case because of security and functionality reasons but we'll just give this a minute to see if there are any updates available and if there are go ahead and install them as a priority and that's pretty much everything that you need to do to fix your usb ports if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on social media and we'll see you in the next video